धातु ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीवाख्यात मुच्य से प्रकृति कृषुबंतादिधातु ब्रह्मात्म नम नारायण पर व्यक्ता दंडम व्यक्त संभव अंड सियामे लोका सप्त अस्माक विशिष्टा ये तोध द्विजोत्तम नायका वो सैन्य संयाथन त्रवीमीते आफ्टर दुर्योधना लिस्टेड to acharya uh, all the people he showed them that these are the people here and uh, then he says asmakam tu vishishtaye he showed them and then he says those who are specifically he uh, those who are important he is going to list them so he says asmakam tu for us who are the vishishta ye vishishta bhavanti tan nibodha so nibodha is the he dvijottama dvijottu dvijanam or dvijeshu uttama uh, सप्तमी तत्पुरुष निर्धारणे सप्तमी निर्धारणे अमोंग ऑल दी द्विजाज द्विजाज आर दी फर्स्ट थ्री वर्णास अमोंग देम उत्तम सो ही सेइंग ओ ब्राह्मण दैट्स व्हाट ही सेइंग सो हे द्विजोत्तम ब्राह्मण तान निबोध हु आर दिस निबोध हैव अ लुक एट देम सो तान निबोध हैव अ लुक एट देम नो देम एंड दिस इज अ लोट लकार मध्यम पुरुष एक वचन निबोध सो मध्य पुरुष एक वचन लोट लकार सो लोट मध्य पुरुष एक वचन सो हि से हे द्विजोत्तम संबोधन तान निबोध हु आर इज अस्माक ये विशिष्टा भवन्ति तान निबोध एंड व्हाट इज ही गोइंग टू डू ही सेज ही सेज हु आर दीज अस्माक मम सैन्य से विशिष्टा नायका सी दो आर् लीडर्स बिकॉज इट्स अूज आर्मी एंड इट इज डिवेडेड इन टू दीज से इन दोस् हु आर् दी विशिष्टा तान निबोध सो इस नायका निबोध संयाथम सो संयाथम इज अव्यय और यू कैन एक्चुअली से कैन से टू वन एडवर्बियल सेंस सो संयाथ फॉर दी पर्पस ऑफ संज्ञा सो टू लिस्ट संज्ञा इज अ नेम बट टू इन ऑर्डर टू इंट्रोड्यूस देम ही इज टेलिंग इज आचार्य दट दीज आर दीज आर दी वन हु आर लीडर्स ऑफ दीज सेगमेंट्स ऑफ द आर्मी मम सैन्य से नायक विशिष्टा नायक So some specific leaders he is listing, and he says sanyaartham. Just this is in order to name them, as in to introduce them that these are the leaders, so you can address them. And sanyaartham tam brahmi brahmi me also tan sanyaartham te tava te te tubhyam tubhyam chaturthi ekho chena tubhyam brahmi me. I am telling you, and he dujottama tan nibodha. so you can do there are various ways to do anvaya but this is okay asmakam tu ye mama sainyasya vishishta nayaka bhavanti or santi tan sanyartham te tubhyam bravi me he dvijottama tan nibodha me know them know them well so that you can address them later any vishishtah shishta so this is ta pratyanta nibodha tan asmakam dvijottama dvija so i said this is that this is a saptami tatpurusha षष्टी और सप्तमी षष्टी आई एम नॉट मेन्शनिंग यूजली इट विल बी टेकन ए षष्टी बट निर्धारणे षष्टी वेन इट इज निर्धारणे अर्थे दैट टाइम षष्टी समास इज नॉट अलाउड सो इफ यू टेक इट एज नॉन निर्धारणा देन यू कैन टेक एज षष्टी इफ यू टेक इज निर्धारणा देन इट्स बेटर टू हैव सप्तमी So starting with he says Vishista who are these Bhavan Bhishmascha Karanascha Krupascha Samitin Jaya Ha Ashwatthama Vikaranascha Saumadattir Jaya Drata Ha. So these are the listings. Uh, nothing important here. Bhavan, you the respected sir, yourself 
भीष्म कर्ण कृपाचार्य समितिंजय समितिंजय इज अ संज्ञा अ नेम बट इफ यू हैव टू मेक अ समासा देन इट विल बी एन उपपद तत्पुरुष यू सी जय हियर जय विथ एन अकारांत सो सम उपपद तत्पुरुष प्रत्यय समितिम जयती समितिंजय सो दिस जनरली इट्स नॉट नीडेड वेन इट्स अ नेम यू डोंट नीड टू हैव नेम कैन बी एनीथिंग इट मे और मे नॉट मीन दैट बट स्टील at least in puranas we know that these uh, names have some derived meanings also may be possible so there we say samitinjaya samitim jayati samitim would be samiti any samiti and assembly here a battle a battle formation he wins over the army or the battle therefore he is called as samitinjaya then ashwatthama vikarnah saumadatti jayadratah these are uh, just the listing so you can just say asti or san Uh, all put together you can say santi <coughs> these are the sanyartham te tan uh, sanyartham tan bravimi te bravimi so he is listing them in uh, in the manner of introducing them and he starts by saying that you you yourself are one of them the leaders and you are the best among them here another thing uh, just i recall something from the i may, may have mentioned elsewhere uh, This Dijottama, Dijottama uh, Acharya Madhusudan Acharya uh, Saraswati. Uh, so he he sees more meaning here. He says this Dijottama. It looks like Uttama. Uttama means that it is the best. So any the Brahmana Varna is the best, and thereby you are the best. He is calling his Acharya, you are the best. But uh, coming from Duryodhana, this is taken as a as an insult. so bhagwan madhusudan saraswati acharya he sees it as an insult he says that what duryodhana is saying is that uh, earlier he has already said that uh, in the other army you see quite of your disciples as well indirectly he is taunted saying that your disciples are going to fight us now so there he has taunted now he is saying vijottama and indirectly he is telling them that you are a brahmana you have nothing to do on the uh, field uh, the battlefield the job is of kshatriyas so brahmana is secondary there so although he calls her uttama he is taunting him and he is insulting saying that you brahmana has no role to play in the battlefield so uh, we will take care that's that's another meaning which uh, nicely uh, the acharya sees there सो भवान भीष्म चक्रण कृपश समिति अश्वत्थम विकर्ण से सौमदत्ति जयद्रता अन्े चहवशूरा मदर्थे त्यक्त जीविता नाना शस्त्र प्रहरण सर्वे युद्ध विशारदा सो हियर ही सेज दट दीज आर ओनली संज्ञाथम ही आई हेव लिस्टेड दीज बट देर आर मेनी अदर्स सो बहव शूरा अन्े अन्े बहव शूरा च मदर्थे त्यक्त जीविता सी देर आर मेनी Others, many, many others also who are many, bhava, shura, and they are also very brave. So shura ha, here we see visargalopa, visargalopa, madarthe, madarthe, mama arthe. So mama arthe for my sake, madarthe, tyakta jivita ha, madarthe here is saptimi ekvachana, and uh, here you can see uh, in a secondary sense a nimitta saptimi. So for my sake, but artha itself carries that meaning. So it, uh, words can be madartham madarthe they carry very similar meaning that's how the language is so for my sake they there also that nimitta due to i being the nimitta there this with the artha word it takes saptami there and uh, in a second sense it, it can be called as a nimitta saptami although technically it is not nimitta saptami tyakta jivita tyakta jivita as a samasa so anye uh, And tyakta jivita, who are these bahava shura ha anye? Anye is a plural, so anye bahava shura ha. They are tyakta jivita, and they are who are they? They all of those survey. All of these others also survey. Nana shastra praharana and yuddha visharada ha. So he says they are nana shastra praharana. We'll come back to tyakta jivita, but nana shastra praharana is nana. Nana is means many. Many shastra means shastra and praharana has a has a similar meaning. Praharana is a larger set, so uh, shastra means weapons. Praharana also means weapons, but there is a difference of where shastra is used and where 
a praharana is used, Dif different kinds of weapons, so some which can be uh, used in a particular manner, so thereby there is a differentiation, nana, shastra, praharana, uh, many, so karma dharayadar, shastra, praharana, shastra and praharana you can make a dvandva and then nana, nana chate, shastra, praharana, nana, shastra, praharana, and who are these? They are Yuddha Visharadaha. They are Visharada is Visharada means experts. They are experts. And you see plural everywhere. All these are in Samana Dikran. Anye, Bhavaha, Shuraha. Here you see Shuraha, Yakta Jivitaha, Nana Shastra Praharanaha, Sarve and Yuddha Visharada. Yuddha Visharada, uh, they are Visharada are expert. Expert in experts in what? So therefore Saptami, Akanksha is of Saptami. And therefore, Saptami Tatpurusha Yudhe Visharadaha Yudhe Visharadaha. Further, uh, so Yudhe Visharada and then uh, Kyakta Jivita. So Kyakta Jivita you see Tanta here, Nishta Pratya. And uh, here Kyakta, Kyakta means given up. What has been given up? Jivitam. Jivitam is uh, life in uh, neuter, so uh, we can, th since it's plural, we can say, um, we can make it in uh, singular as well as plural, so you can say tyaktam jivitam yaihi, there you have to use plural, because it has, it is ending with a plural, you complete the vigraha vakya in plural, plural here because it is ending in plural, so tyaktam jivitam yaihi or you can say tyaktani jivitani yaihi, te so those who have given up, uh, so life is given up by whom? Literal translation would be what? Uh, given up and given up is Jeevitam. So it, these are in Samana Dikaranim. In Bahuri you have this Aneka Manya Padartha. Uh, mostly you will have uh, these in Samana Dikaranim. So Tyaktani uh, Jeevitani Yaihi. Given up. What is given up? Lives. Their lives. So lives are given up by whom? Those are Tyakta Jivita. Literal translation. Given up as in, lives are given up as in, they have given up their regular lives for the sake of the battle. They are Yudhe Visharadaha, Yudhe Visharadha and Tyakta Jivita. Mother te. And Tyakta Jivita, what that will go with? Mother te. They, are they are ones who have given up their life. As you have come to the battle means you have all given up your life. For, for whose sake? Mother te. Mamar te. For my sake, they have given up the life. Any questions here? Okay, we'll move on. Further, he says, Aparyaptam tadasmakam balam bhishma virakshitam Paryaptam to uh, Paryapt, uh, there is a typo, not a typo, the font itself is like that. Uh, Paryaptam Tvidam ete sham balam bhima vi rakshitam. So, aparyaptam. Generally, in the vernacular language, paryaptam means, uh, paryaptam means sufficient. But here, it means that which is limited. Paryaptam has both meanings. Here, it is limited. Otherwise, it will have a, uh, you will have to shift the words. Paryaptam, aparyaptam, you will have to swap. So, here, paryaptam means limited. <coughs> so, asmakam. Asmakam tad, tad asmakam balam. What is that? Balam. Asmakam balam. Uh, okay, earlier I did do the Anvaya. It is written here, Anyecha. So, since I have done a few shlokas in the other class. Uh, Anyecha bhava shuraha madarte tyakta jivitaha nana shastra prarana sarve yudhe yuddha visharadaha bhavanti. Here, aparyaptam tad asmakam balam. Asmakam our strength balam. Our balam is what? That balam asmakam of ours, that strength of ours is aparyaptam. Aparyaptam means it is unlimited. Why is it unlimited? So, Hetu Garva Visheshana is given. The reason is given with a Visheshana. That balam which is Bhishma Virakshitam. Bhishmena Abhirakshitam. Agirakshitam, you see, you see Ta Pratya, Nishta. So, generally when you see Ta, Ta Pratya, Abhirakshitam means when protected very well protected or completely protected. What that strength is protected. Protected by whom? Protected by whom? That Akanksha will be there. Therefore, generally Tanta you will see 
tritiya here kartari tritiya you will see here mostly otherwise some other tritiya is possible in this case it's kartari tritiya bhishmai bhishmena avirakshitam that strength of ours means the strength of the army is protected by bhishma and that becomes the reason for it to be aparyaptam means that which cannot be transgressed it is unlimited that strength is limitless uh, in his mind in duryodhana's mind he is uh, starting the battle with that hope uh, that uh, they are nothing in front of us paryaptam tu idam etesham however tu on the other hand idam what you see here in front of you idam etesham balam etesham etesham of these pandavas etesham pandavanam balam which is which strength is bhish bhima virakshitam who is bhima in front of bhishma so in with that thinking he say bhimena abhirakshitam balam etesham balam paryaptam it is limited so there is idam balam to paryaptam eva bhavati so eva you can just add to make that emphasis tad asmakam bhishma abhirakshitam balam aparyaptam bhavati etesham bhima abhirakshitam balam to paryaptam eva bhavati so uh, that's how the anvaya is further i have not added the shlokas there okay. paryaptam how do we say it means i don't understand the question amma what's the question how it gets the meaning i do not know amma i would say uh, it is pari uh, paryaptam would be pari plus aap dhatu it attains uh, attains something what does it paryaptam it's a uh, see derived meaning it does not always hold derived meaning takes a secondary place we understand the meaning how it is used rudi artha is rudi artha artha baliyan always rudi artha will pre, will take precedence over uh, derived meaning so paryaptam uh paryaptam let's see paryaptam so it's a bhavekta yatheshta ihi there are many meanings see yatha ishtam is a meaning trupti shakti nivaranam so many meanings are there for each meaning how will you explain with derivation if you find one meaning how do you get other meanings because see pari pari is added a pari upasarga can bring various meanings upasarga can do anything it can keep the meaning same it can give an opposite meaning it can uh, ch- change a little it can give completely different meaning tangential so with different meanings of pari uh, the aap dhatu will get converted into many meanings so how that happens how it has happened in the language we do not know it has come to stay in the language root here artha is limited and in vernacular we see uh, other languages paryaptam uh, in hindi you say paryapt it's it's sufficient so if you take sufficient meaning what will happen i don't know whether san- sanskrit will have that meaning it may be there because in other language it has come but in other language rudi artha paryaptam would be sufficient if you say sufficient then aparyapta means not sufficient then what would it what would happen if you do the anvaya in this very manner tad asmakam bhishma virakshitam balam aparyaptam aparyaptam means it's not sufficient so he is putting down his own army even before the start of the battle then if you if that kind of a meaning exists then you have to swap this paryaptam and aparyaptam here if that meaning exists but limited meaning is there so you should take limited meaning and not change the anvaya because preferably when it is uh, in in close proximity if you can do an anvaya it's better and you can still get the meaning if the meaning does not uh, fit the shloka as in if you in your anvaya what is meant in the context the meaning does not fit then you should move around the words otherwise preferably keep the words there and you have the meaning of limited is that clear further 
will be the tenth, right? Yeah. So eleven says. So there is another question. No. Okay. Huh. So. Uh, अन्येशु च सर्वेशु यथा भाग मवस्थिता हा भीष्म मेवा भी रक्षण तो भवंतस सर्वे ये वही अन्येशु अन्येशु च सर्वेशु सप्तमी भव वचना यथा भागम यथा भागम विल भी द्वितीय एक वचना यथा भागम अवस्थिता हा नॉट डन दी अदर क्लास आई नॉट मार्क दी केसेस एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट बट if you are to mark those, I hope most of you get these uh, yourself. Some will do so. Anneshu cha sarveshu yatha bhagam. Some places there may be difficult. Yatha bhagam avasthita. Yatha bhagam avasthita ha. Bhishmam eva. Bhishmam eva abhirakshantu. भवंत सर्व एव सर्व है सर्वे एव सर्वे एव ही यथा भागम इज एडवर्वियल सो भागम बिकॉज इट इज इट इज इट इज एन अव्ययी भाव समास अव्ययी भाव समास विच विल मीन भागम और भागान अनतिक्रम्य भागान अनतिक्रम्य From not having transgressed the divisions, bhagan are divisions. There are army divisions. So anyeshu cha sarveshu yatha bhagam avastite. Anyeshu saptami adhikarane. In those, in in others, others any aye I saw not anyeshu. I read anyeshu. I'm sorry. Ayeneshu. Ayeneshu is sarveshu. Ayeneshu is are these uh, divisions of armies. So I I think in the beginning itself I may have said anyeshu. अयनेशु च सर्वेशु यथा भागम अवस्थिता हा भीष्म मेवा भी रक्षण तो भवंत सर्वे ये वही अयनेशु इस इन दोस यूनिट्स इन दोस आर्मी यूनिट्स आर्मी यूनिट्स आर कॉल्ड एस अयना सो इन इन आर्मी यूनिट्स एंड बीइंग इन दोस आर आर्मी यूनिट्स अवस्थिता इस रिमेनी अवस्थिता हा स्थाधातु एंड तांत being present or being situated, so we can say situated, situated or remaining stationary, uh, station not stationary but being present in whatever is your allocated uh, role there in whichever unit. So in remaining in those units, Sarveshu, in all units wherever people are assigned, remaining in those Yathabhagam, as in not shifting duties and shifting roles from this, this unit to another unit. Following those rules, what should you do? What should then abhirakshan to? Abhirakshan to avasthita abhirakshan bhavantah. Bhavantah sarve, so respected sir, you, uh, all of those, all of those who are, uh, so this is plural. Bhavantah sarve, sarve bhavantah, all those should what? Abhirakshan to. Abhirakshan to is the verb here, plural. Uh, Protect, may you all protect, protect whom? Bhishmam. So, uh, what has been said earlier is that uh, protect the, uh, the strength of the army will be there only when it is protected by Bhishma. So, the strength of the army should remain and that will remain as long as Bhishma is there, otherwise army will start weakening and we see in Mahabharata also uh, after Bhishma went, uh, uh, was hit badly, that time the army kept on weakening. So he says you protect Bhishma, only when Bhishma is protected our strength will remain protected. So uh, remaining wherever you are, in your, you protect Bhishma, that is the rule. So Sarve, uh, sarve Bhavantaha, Bhavanta Sarve or Sarve Bhavanta Sarve, not Sarva Sarve, should be Sarve, Sarve Bhavantaha. Sarveshu ayaneshu cha yata bhagam avasthita. Yata bhagam would go adverbial to avasthita. So this will become adverbial to bhagam anatikramya. Bhagan anatikramya avasthita ha avasthita ha santa ha. Being there in those positions eva indeed hi bhishwam eva abhirakshantu. 
indeed being in your units you protect indeed you protect bhishma so he see uh, or he eva these may have similar meanings if we cannot bring the meaning out we have to look at the tika what the tika kara says otherwise uh, if it is not that important you can take that as a uh, gap filler in the shloka generally they are taken as gap fillers to make the meter complete but then tika karas will bring in additional meanings of what he what eva kara is for our purpose it is not that important here since we are not doing a complete vedanta class tasya tasya sanjanayan harsham kuru vruddha pitamaha simhanadam vinadyochaihi shankam dadho pratapavan further he, uh, this is now uh, sanjay is saying this what is he saying tasya sanjayan uh, sanjanayan sanjayanan sanjanayan is here you see ya here, here. jan dhatu you see sam so san jane makar has become has taken anuswara and then it has become varga panchama uh, jakara is of the cha varga so varga panchama is nya so it has become nya so it is sam purvaka jan dhatu and then then you see shatru here sanjanayan harsham sanjanayan sanjanayan uh, so generating generating would be the meaning of shatru but you see this ya so dhatu is actually what not jan dhatu it is san san jan so jani it will become uh, it will take hetu mati nich so cause causative it is in causative sense so sam sanjanayan creating uh, fear so uh, causing fear uh, not fear here harsham so elation causing harsha tasya tasya duryodhanasya so tasya duryodhanasya kuru so who is the karta of the sentence sanjanayan would be like the verb equivalent causing causing what so causing what there the karma will go in second case harsham causing elation causing happiness to whom uh, duryodhana for whom for duryodhanas so causing harsha for duryodhana what pitamaha kuru vruddha kuru vruddha is kuru is the family and in the family he is vruddha so vruddha so it will become satyami tatpurusha so kurushu vruddha kuru vruddha saptami tatpurusha who is that pitamaha he is the grandfather so what did he do kuru vruddha pitamaha uchchehi shankam dadmo so dadmo uh, dadmo we have seen this is mad madhatu in lit lakara prathama purusha ek vachana it will become dadmo and who is a pratapavan pratapavan is uh, you see pratapah pratapah asya asti iti pratapavan matup so pratap plus matup who is that kuru vruddha pitamah himself is pratapavan and uh, kuru vruddha pitamah pratap pratapavan kuru vruddha pitamah shankam dadmo that's the basic sentence shankam dadu and tasya sanjane sanjanayan harsham sanjanayan causing causing harsha for duryodhana what did he do he uh, he blew the conch shankam dadmo he blew the conch and uchchehi uchchehi uh, is adverbial uh, how this sound is it is in a very high so it, it is an avyaya of course it's an avyaya but in he blew the conch loudly so it will become loudly adverbial to dadmo and doing what simhanadam vinadya vinadya is lap so he blew the conch but before blowing the conch what did he do simhanadam so simhasya nadam eva nadam i think uh, it will be like simhasya nadam eva nadam uh, vinadya creating or uh, uh, having having created the sound of roar of a lion so having the uh, so put together you translate it simhanada vinadye having roared like a lion uh, this uchchai can go with vinadye also so uchchai vinadye that way also you can take simhanada uchchai vinadye uh, pratapa pratapavan kuruvridha pitamaha 
शंकम दधम तस्य संजय तस्य हर्षम संजय सो दैट्स हाउ दी अन्वया वुड बी राइट दी अन्वया तस्य संजयन फर्स्ट यू कैन टेक प्रताप वन वन कुरुवृद्ध पितामह तस्य हर्षम संजने हर्षम संजनयन सिंह नादम विनद्य शंक दध एनिथिंग लेफ्ट तस्य संजीवन हर्षम कुरुवृत्त पिता सिंहनाद विनदे उच्च ही शंकम दधम आई थिंक ऑल पुट दैट फ्रॉम सॉरी कुरुवृद्ध पितामह दिस श्लोक इज नॉट हियर नेक्स्ट श्लोक तत शंकाश्च भैर्य पणवानक गोमुखा गोमुखा सहसाइवाभ्य सशब्दस्तुमुलो भवत स तत तत प्लस तसिल स मी पंचम्य अर्थे तसिल पंचम्य अर्थे हिर् मीनिंग तस्मा देर आफ्टर देर आफ्टर वॉट शंकाश्च भेरिय पणव आनक गोमुखा सो द्वंद्वा हिर् सम इंस्ट्रुमेंट्स बाय विच यू मेक दिस बैटल क्राइस सो पणव देर आर थ्री हिर् पणव वी डोंट नो दीज मीनिंग्स वॉट आर दीज रियली एंड इवन इफ यू लुक अप द्रांसलेशन इट इज नॉट वैरी मच वैल्यू एज इन वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज वी डोंट नो विच आर दीज लाइक कौहॉन्स और वॉट एवर दीज आर गोमुखा पणव पणव आनका गोमुखा सो अवर आइडिया इज टू अंडरस्टैंड इट वॉट इज द समस द्वंद्व एंड द मीनिंग इज सम कैंड ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स दैट मेक अनाउंस दी स्टार्ट ऑफ दी वॉर दे मेक अ लाउड नॉइस टू स्केर दी एनिमी सो शंक भेर्य एंड पणवानक गोमुखा दीज आर दी वेरियस ड्रम्स एक्सेट्रा सो कॉन्शियस ड्रम्स एक्सेट्रा ऑल ऑफ दीज सहसा एव सहसा इज एन अव्यय सहसा एव एव इज ऑल्सो एन अव्यय सहसा एव अव्यहन्य स शब्द तुमुलो भवत तुमुल अभवत सो इस अव्यहन्य अव्यहन्य इज लंगलकार प्लूरल सो सहसा एव एव दे बीट अप दी ड्रम्स एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट सो अव्यहन्य फॉर दिस ऑल दीज पणवान गो मुखा ऑल दीज आर विच आर देर they are beaten sahasa eva suddenly suddenly they are they were beaten and then sah shabda the sound which came with all this shanka bhairya panava anaka gomukha obviously all are uh, 
all are beaten together, blown together, the conches are blown, all of these instruments are blown, then the war cries became very loud, so they become very, very tumultuous. So, tumulaha abhavat, abhavat bhudhatu langlakara, pratham purusha ekvachan, shabdaha, shabdaha abhavat, how shabda became loud, it became what? Loud, that, that sound became loud. So, tata shankashya bheriyasya, panavana gomukaha, sahasa eva abhyahanyanta, so, actually abhyahanyanta, uh, they were played or they were beaten, whatever is the meaning of uh, with this Gomukha and Shankaha Bheria. So each of these were played, each of these were drums were beaten, conches were blown, so that is the meaning Abhyananta with it not only beaten because you can't beat the conches, we saw it in another Vyakrana class. So whatever is done with each of these instruments that was done and thereby Sahasaiva suddenly Indeed, suddenly all of their were, were played together and then the sound which came in, Saha Shabda, so here you can put a, uh, put a full stop, Saha Shabda, that, that sound, Saha Shabda, Tumulaha Abhavata, Tumula, it became Abhavata, it became Tumulchas. What happened after that? He says, Tataha Shvetai Hi, uh, okay, so, uh, see, um, I, mean, I am used to reading it, so chanting is a little different. Tata Shvetai Hayer Yukte Mahati Chandane Sitau Madhava Pandava Shchaiva Divyo Shanko Pradham Pradham Pradhadmatuhu. So, a little tongue twister. Little Akara, you see duplication, reduplication is Pradhadmatuhu. So, you see this Atus Pratya, Nalatus Us. And then Nalatus us Shankau. Shankau are two, therefore dual here. Pradhadmatuhu. Anyway, coming back to the first word, Tataha. Again, ta, um, Tasmat. Thereafter. Thereafter, what happened? Shvetaihi Hayaihi. Hayai are, Haya is Ashwa, a horse. So Hayaihi Hayaihi Yukte. Mahati Sandane Stitau Madavaha Pandavacha Eva. Divyau Shankau Pradhadmatuhu. So you start with the verb Pradhadmatuhu. Shankau Pradhadmatuhu. Shanko here is can be Prathama Ekovach Divachana or Dvitiya Divachana. Pradhadmatuhu means that they blew the conscious. So therefore, it will be karma and in Kartari Prayoga karma will go in second case. So this will be second case. So they blew these two conscious. Which are these conscious? These are divyau. Divyau again in as a visheshana to shanka, shanko, divyau. Divine conscious they blew. Who are these? Madhavaha Pandavacha. Madhava, Madhava is Keshava, Madhava is Krishna. And Pandava is Arjuna here because Madhava, uh, Pandava can be any Pandava, but here any of the five, but here. Uh, since we know that uh, Arjuna was with Krishna, therefore Pandava here is Arjuna. So Krishna and Arjuna, indeed, uh, they blew their divine conscious. And where were they? So they were Stitau. Madhava, Pandava, Stitau. This Stitau will not go with Divya, Shankau. They will go with this Madhava, Cha Pandava, who are Stitau, who are, uh, who are uh, present. Where present? Where are they present? Sendane. Sendane is, Sendana is, Sendana is a chariot. They are present on the they are present on the chariot. What kind of a chariot is Mahat Mahati chariot. So Mahat Mahat Sendana. Mahat Sendana and in Saptami it will become Mahati. Mahati like Maruti, Marutvat. So Mahati Sendana is Sito. They are present on, on this huge chariot. And what kind of a chariot? It is Yukta. Yukte, yukte Mahati Syandane Sitau. They are present on the chariot, a huge chariot which is yoked with, yoked or uh, yoked with what? With, therefore, Akansha of Tritya is there. It is yoked or endowed with. With what? It is joined with. Yujdhatu. Joined with what or uh, yoked with what? In Because chariot you use yoked. With what? Ashwas. What kind of horses are these? Hayaihi, Ashwaihi. 
Shwetai. Shwetai, they are white horses. So thereafter, uh, Krishna and Arjuna who were sitting on this uh, huge chariot uh, with these five, five, five is not mentioned, plural is given. So bare minimum three uh, white horses. It was, so a chariot with uh, white horses. They were sitting on those and they blew these two divine conches. Then the name is given of what kind of conches these are. So uh, the, each of the conch had a name. So Panchajanyam Rishikesha Devadattam Dhananjayaha Poundram Dadmo Mahashankam Bhima Karma Vrukodaraha. So Panchajanyam was the name of Rishikesha's. Uh, Rishikesha is again uh, Krishna. So Krishna's uh, 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 conch is called as Panchajanya. Dhananjayaha, what did he blow? He blew his conch, he called as Devadatta. So Devadattam. You see in uh, second case here, Dadmo. So Dadmo. So Hishikesha Panchajanyam Dadmo. Dhananjayaha Devadattam Dadmo. Dadmo is, a, is in singular. Litlakara, Prasava Purusha, Ekvachana. Poundram hu Mahashankam Bhima Karma Vrukodara. So Bhima Karma in this entire, uh, in the first line, uh, Dhananjayaha and Dhananjaya, Dhanam Jayati iti Dhananjaya, Upapada Tatkurusha. But it is also a name. So uh, uh, it is said that uh, Arjuna went around when they uh, had to do uh, the Yaga, that time a lot of wealth was needed. So, uh, <coughs> Arjuna went around uh, many countries and brought in a lot of wealth. He won over a lot of wealth either by ba uh, fighting. So generally you announce yourself as an emperor of a particular place, as an emperor of a large uh, group of countries. Whoever has an objection, they have to fight you to prove you wrong. Otherwise, they have to uh, accept, accept that they take you as your em emperor. So uh, Yudhishthira announced that he is... Uh, they, he is the emperor there and then um, Arjuna went around and collected wealth from the subordinate kings and those who did not give the wealth they fought him and then he won them over and then brought wealth back for the Yaga. For the Yaga a uh, lot of wealth is needed. It is done in a huge uh, uh, this thing uh, to showcase that uh, that particular Yaga can be done only by the emperor and uh, they have won over uh, particular states or countries. So therefore Arjuna got the name as Dhananjaya. So Dhananjaya Dhanam Jayati Iti Dhananjaya Arjuna Devadattam Dadmu Vishikesha Krishna Panchajanyam Dadmu and then Bhima Karma. Here both are covered in the la second line uh, Bhima, Bhima Karma, Bhima Karma is uh, so Bhima, uh, Bhima Karma you see the ending here like Ashwatthama, earlier we saw the word Ashwatthama here. Uh, so Ashwatthama is also Ashwatthaman, Pratipati is Ashwatthaman, like Atman it will become Atma, Atma Atmano Atmanaha, similarly Ashwatthama. Here also uh, Bhima Karma, Karman is the Pratipati, Bhima Karman and in, how does Karma decline, Karma Karmani Karmani in neuter. But here that Karman Pratipadika is declined in as uh, Bhima Karma in Pullinga. So what kind of Samasa would this be? So think over what kind of Samasa it is. Then I think there is a question. Is there a question? I see Navita Bansal. Is there a question? Maybe my mistake, I don't know. I see a question by Navita Bansal. Is that Priti ji? Uh, sorry, uh, Pinky ji? Okay. Uh, anyway, I don't know. Uh, I just see one name here. Uh, anyone? What kind of Samasa would Bhima Karma be? I already gave you a hint that Karman is a neuter and here it is declared as Pullinga. What kind of Samasa where gender changes in the Uttara Pada? Am I audible? Simple question. No answers? Okay. 
yeah bhauri so bhauri here it would be uh, uh, karma so uh, karma is neuter therefore bhima will also if you say bhima as in neuter bhima means huge so bhimani karmani yasya sa bhima karma so one who has huge karma he has done i mean he has done such a such great works that he has got the name bhima now so bhima karma he has got the name bhima karma who is that brukodara so uh, there is a joke here that bhima used to say we say bhima paka also when someone cooks in huge quantity and it is not done see when you have to uh, cook in huge quantities you can't keep on cutting small pieces and then decorate it so bhima what how you used to cook uh, he had a huge appetite so he used to just uh, uh, bash the all the vegetables together and just smash them together so he wouldn't cut them he would just with huge strength the strength that he had he would uh, just uh, smash them together and cook that is called bhima paka he was a very good cook though uh, so in uh, that uh, ajnata vasa when they went he had played the role of a cook but people think that he was huge a uh, physically huge and he used to eat a lot therefore he had a big belly he didn't have a big belly so there he has also got a name brukodara brukodara bruka is a Uh, a jackal jackal or a, a fox and udara means stomach so brukodara as a person will also be bahuri bruka is a fox and udara is stomach there is nobody is talking about this uh, uh, in samana dikrana with uh, bhima or anyone here as a person nobody is talking about a stomach so it is not talking this pada brukodara is not talking about bruka it is not talking about udara also therefore it is a bahuri it is talking about one who had a had a belly like the udara stomach like a vruka and you see a jackal or fox belly is drawn inward it is quite slim so he was fit this bhima karma bhima was very fit he was not one with a huge belly uh, the way we would see in uh, tv series or in uh, in movies but then he was vrukodara so vrukasya uh, udaram yo udaram yasya one who had the belly like a fox he can't have a, a fox's belly a belly like a fox therefore brukasya udaram means brukasya uh, udaram means the belly of the fox for uh, stomach of the fox but you can't say one who has the stomach of the fox it is like the stomach of the fox therefore brukasya udaram iva udaram brukasya udaram iva udaram yasya it will become bruka brukodara udara so it will be brukodara udara and then one udara will drop off in the samasa and become brukodara bhima bhima karma what did he do he dadmo he also blew a conch what is that poundram it is called poundram and bhima is huge not a small conch it is a huge conch zero maha shankam so uh, shanka uh, shank shankam so maha shanka is uh, pulling us so bahancha so shankascha maha shankah tam maha shankam that maha shanka he bhima bhima karma brukodara blue so hrishikesha panche janyam dadmo dhananjay devadattam dadmo bhima karma brukodara maha shankam poundram dadmo so that's how the anvaya would be we'll stop here uh, we'll stop a little early as in it, it's 5 minutes late compared to our uh, time but we started late uh, i'll just uh, uh, complete this the uh, because all these are similar uh, no specific anvaya or anything they are just uh, listings of uh, will not stop here i'll just finish the others which are similar ananta vijayam raja kunti putro yudhishthira nakula sadevascha sugosha mani pushpakau so similarly everyone blew their own conches so it is said raja who is that raja is yudhishthira yudhishthira raja who is who is kunti putra सो कुंती पुत्र कुंत्या पुत्र कुंती पुत्र षष्टी तत्पुरुष एंड ही ब्लू अ कॉन्च एज वेल सो दधमो देर इज एन अनुवृत्ति ऑफ दधमो इन टू दिस श्लोका ऑल्सो राजा युधिष्ठि कुंती पुत्र राजा युधिष्ठि कुंती पुत्र राजा युधिष्ठि अनंत विजय दधमो अनंत विजय इज ऑल्सो हि शंका सो इज दट इज कॉल्ड अनंत विजय अनंत विजय यू कैन सी अनंत अनंत विजय सो इट दिस कैन बी बहुरी अनंतता अंत but it's a name ananta vijayam that conch which has brought in many vijayas so uh, 
Bauri there if you want to make a Vigra. Nakula and Sahadeva are the other two brothers, twins who, so Nakula, Sahadeva, Sugosha and they were always together, so to, uh, always counted together, Nakula and Sahadeva, therefore they, they are written together, Sugosha and Mani Pushpaka, there are two of the, uh, two Shankas, so uh, Jitiya, uh, Jivachana, Sugosha, Mani Pushpaka and then you will have to say uh, Nakulaha and Sahadevascha, Sugosha Mani Pushpakau uh, Nalatus Usso uh, Dhadmatuhu. So you will have to say Dhadmatuhu. It can be, uh, so there are two, so they blew these two conches. Or you can say Dhadmo also, uh, each of them, but th this is a Samasa here. Dwandu Samasa. Itaritar Dwandu. Kashyascha Parameshwasaha, Shikhandi cha Maharataha, Drishtadyumnau Viratascha Satyakishcha, uh, Satyakishcha Aparajitaha. So Aparajitaha, Satyaki, Apara, so all of these, Kashi Raja, Parameshwasa, Shikhandi, who was Maharataha, all these are Maharatas only, it was said earlier. Drishtadyumnaha, Viratascha Satyaki, Satyaki hi. Aparajita. Aparajita is Satyaki. Aparajita is uh, Nanjitat Purusha. Na Aparajita, Aparajita. He was, he has never lost a battle. Satyaki had never lost a uh, battle. And Virat, as the was Virat. Huge. These are all huge Maharatas. They are also, they also, what did they do? Drupadaha, Draupadayascha, Sarvasha, Prithvipate. All these are like emperors. They are all emperors. Sarvasha. Sauvadrascha Mahabahu, Shankan Dadmuhu, Prutak Prutak. So, all starting from here till here, Prutak Prutak Shankan Dadmuhu. They all blew their separate conches. Who are these? They are listed here. Kashi Raja, Parmesha, Sashikandi, then Drushta Dhyumnaha, and Satyaki, Drupadaha, and not only Drupada, Draupadeya. Uh, Drupada and then Draupadeya. Sarvasha Prithivipate, Saubhadrasya Mahabhavu. So Mahabhavu is a uh, Samasa. It's a, uh, it's a uh, Bahuri again because Bahu means these uh, arms and Maha means big or mighty. So it is not talking about uh, arms. It is talking about a person who has these mighty arms. Therefore, uh, Mahan Mahantau. So Mahantau Bahu. Mahantau Bahu. Yasya Saha Mahabahu. So they separately blew their, uh, uh, they blew their separate uh, conches. Pratak Pratak, each of them. So each of their conches they blew. We'll, uh, yeah, now this is a different section, a little different from these uh, similar ones. So we'll see this in the next part of, from here on. Any questions? Yes, Anand. I had a question. Uh, you mentioned Vijottama uh, being Saptani Tatpurusha, and then uh, you also said something about Nirdharana Shashti. I, I didn't get what. Picking, pick, picking uh, one among many or one among uh, uh, many among. So it's a, picking a subset among a set. That is Nirdharana Saptami or Shashti. Nirdharana can be Shashti or Saptami, same meaning. It can go in Shashti or Saptami. <clears throat> when you pick a set of, subset out of a set, it can be a thing, it can be people. So uh, among these Vijas, uh, Uttama has been picked. So best among, so that among meaning is Nirdharana. And Nirdharana, Shashti or Saptami can be used. But in Samasa, Nirdharana cannot go in uh, uh, Shashti. It has to go in Saptami. So Nirdharana Artha is seen, therefore we take uh, Saptami. Otherwise non-Nirdharana, Shashti can be seen. That, uh, but still we translate as among, but it is not picking uh, a subset. Picking is, uh, uh, so it is not picking and if you say not picking among them, but with not in the meaning of Nirdharana, you are not separating out and uh, picking them, then Shashti can be done Samasa. So Shashti Saptami both work here. But generally the idea is when you translate as among, people think as Nirdharana, therefore I kept it as Saptami. Although Shashti is better, but then Nirdharana Arthes, uh, Shashti cannot have a samasa. Your samasa cannot, nirdharana samasa cannot go in shashti. 